selection methods for a part or a machine so if you want to have if you are having a component the question will come in which method you have to produce it so if you take a polymer a polymer can be manufactured in many different methods it can be manufactured by using the liquid polymer system that is the sla it can be manufactured using sls it can be manufactured using fdm or it can be manufactured using also the lom process so how do we decide which machine or which process we have to select for the production of a given component now this problem will arise because there will be several alternatives for a given component so for example if it is abs then it you can manufacture using fdm or you can manufacture using sls or you can also manufacture using lom so because of the availability of number of options so this problem of selection is going to come so if you want to have a selection so there are two sub problems in it first one is a generate feasible alternatives which means we should know what are the possible alternatives for the given per process so if you are having abs material then definitely you can manufacture using two methods if it is a metal component so what are the methods through which you are able to produce it so you should have some rough idea we can produce it using the selective laser sintering you can produce it using direct metal laser sintering process then you can produce it using binder jetting process so all these three process it is possible to produce a metal component now each process has got its own advantages disadvantages it will have its own the strength capability you can achieve so you are having several alternatives so depending on the requirement of the user or the depending on the requirement of the customer we have to select the appropriate process so usually we have to go by a scientific means or by using some mathematical equations we have to arrive at a particular solution otherwise the solution will be very random then at a future date if you want to understand why you have selected a particular process it may not be possible so among the given alternatives available selection of a particular process by using a proper method that is called as a quantification process so selection of a additive manufacturing process is because of availability of multiple options then to complete a selection the preferences will be the deciding factor so preferences means based on what criteria we are going to select the particular requirement or what is the our requirement to choose a particular process if you are not concerned with a surface finish and you want a very hollow component then only choice is it should go by the fdm method if it is a plastic component if it is a metal component then we cannot produce a completely hollow component so we have to think that how to make a hole and how to take out the material inside and how to close the hole later on so all these things we have to decide on a proper methodology so that we are achieving or arriving at the same solution repeatedly so now what is quantification process quantification process is creating a procedure for selection one among the available feasible alternatives so you are having several alternatives here maybe one process second process third process or you can have one machine second machine then third machine four different machines will be there so by the quantification process it will giving some ranks or points to the each and every process you are tabulating them and you are arriving at a final number that number will tell which process to select so quantification process results in rank ordered list of alternatives so you are going to get the ranking for various alternatives thereby you will know which process to select so the uh, selection process uh, we be having uh, two actions one is a uh, generating of feasible alternatives so multiple options either for the process or for the machine selection or in general any selection process then you are having the quantification process whereby you are giving points to certain characteristics and you are adding all the points and you are going to get a score based on the score we are going to get to select the particular process so how are we going to go step by step for the selection process so initially you will be having multiple options for example you are to create a component made up of abs material so generally it is by made by using two methods one is fdm process other one is the selective laser sintering process or it may also be possible in some cases to make it using lom that is laminated object manufacturing process so you are having three options that is the multiple options are available for that particular one next one is identify the principal criteria so what is the most important feature you want from the component 
the features can be you want very high surface finish that may be the one feature other one is you want to make a completely hollow component that is another feature other one may be you want to have very high strength that may be another feature you want expecting from the given component or you want to make the component in several colors you want to make the component in several colors so these are some of the four features available next thing is you should decide which among the four features is the most important one if you say you want the component to be hollow is the most important one you will give more weightage to that particular feature for other remaining features what you are expecting you are going to give some lesser weightage now what is this weightage when i say weightage for a particular feature what does it mean so if i am giving equal weightage for all the features then while i am giving the points for each of these features i have to give from 1 to 5 if a particular process can achieve very high surface finish then i will give 5 points if it is not able to achieve the surface finish then i will give one point so like that for each of the four processes i will give the points based on their characteristics or based on their capabilities then if i am adding directly all the points of the four features then the maximum i can get is five so which one is coming the maximum number of points that one will be selected as a process for producing the given component now if i am giving the but when i say i am giving more weightage then i will say that the surface finish or the hollowness hollow component feature is the most important thing i will give 50% weightage to that particular feature uh, for particular characteristic for the remaining ones i have to divide it 1 minus 50% that will be again 50% that remaining 50% i have to give for the remaining three features so i can give 10 10 and 30 or i can give 20 20 and 10 depending on my requirement so whatever points you are giving to the particular characteristic you have to multiply that with the weightage value what you are giving then you have to add the various points so whatever criteria is more important for you for that you have to give more weightage whatever features or or characteristics are not important you have to give less weightage so that is we have to identify what are the principal criteria for the given component so based on what we have to select we have to be very clear if you want to select a particular machine and you want to procure it then what can be the criteria the criteria can be the size of the component that can be manufactured inside the machine that can be the very important criteria another criteria can be the cost of the machine you will say that i want to get a component which is within 5 lakhs that is your another criteria then what is the materials you can produce some material, some machines can produce stainless steel components because it requires very high temperature some machines can produce only up to copper maybe the requirement is around 900 degrees centigrade so that may be another criteria then you have to decide which one is the most important one if you say price is the most important one then you are giving maximum weightage to the price maybe 40 percentage weightage or 60 percentage weightage so whatever weightages you are giving for the various characteristics the sum of all the weightages should be 100 percentage or it should be equal to 1 so if it is equal to 1 the weightage will be 0.1 0.2 0.5 0.4 like that it will be in decimals if you are giving in percentages then it will be in terms of 10 20 30 40 percentage so like that you have to give the weightages and then if you want to give the points to each and every criteria now how we can give the points how do we know that a particular machine or a particular process is able to achieve or what are its capabilities so for that you should have complete knowledge that is why we say knowledge about the criteria with respect to the datum datum means some reference for example i say i want very good surface finish then you know that the surface finish requirement is maybe 2 ra or 3 ra so or some other parameter now you should have the knowledge about the capability of a given process or the capabilities of a given machine so if you take the fdem process that is fused deposition modeling process you should know what is the capability of that particular machine to produce a surface roughness or you should know in how much amount of time that particular component can be manufactured so you should have complete knowledge about the process as well as the machining parameters that are possible in a given machine so based on this knowledge you are going to give the points to each and every criteria so if you are having a component if you say fdm okay criteria number 1 i will give 3 points criteria number 2 i will give 5 points criteria number 4 i will give only one point then you will be having different weightages for this criteria 
you are multiplying the weightages and the points and then you are adding to get a score the getting that score is called as a quantification process so once you get the particular score whatever the options you are having you are arranging them in the descending order so descending order means whichever the process is having maximum points it will be at the top of the table so whatever points are there at the top that is the best process suitable for your requirement now it is it sometimes it may so happen that two processes are coming within very close number of points maybe one process has got 20 points other process has got 19 points then maybe we have to do a compromise because the points allocation is highly judgmental it is dependent on the person who is giving the points so you can say that whenever two processes or two machines are getting points within a range of say difference of two points or three points or five points you again have to decide which one is a better option so that also will be a part of the quantification process so you have to decide how exactly we are going to select a particular process for the given requirement so once you are ranking it then if you are selecting all the process appropriately then whatever the top points is there that is the one we select if two or more processes are coming within very small range of points then again you may have to review the points you have given and finally you have to arrive at a decision to select one single process or one single machine for your requirement so in this way we are going to select a particular process or we are going to select a machine based on the requirement so it requires three steps first one is we should know what is required so what is the features required in the component that is the first thing then we should know what are the options available for making the particular features then the last one is we have to give the points weightages and we have to calculate the score and we have to give the ranking whichever is having the best rank that is what we are selecting as the our choice for that particular requirement so this is how the selection is made it is not only for additive manufacturing it is the same method is employed for any selection if you want to select something this is a very standard or common procedure adopted so this is about the selection of the components or selection of part material or it may be selection of the machine in general or you can say in specific for the additive manufacturing process next one is what are the challenges it looks very simple uh, we have to know the what are the requirements then we are having the different options available then we have to give the points we have to find out the score arrange them in descending order whatever is having the maximum that we have to select it looks very simple but there are several challenges for this particular uh, selection the first one is complex relation between attributes now what is this complex relation now if your requirement is very good surface finish and your requirement is very quick building or very quick manufacturing these two are in co completely opposite thing because if you want a very good surface finish then the layer thickness should be very very small now when you are reducing the layer thickness the time to manufacture the component is going to increase so like that there will be some characteristics which are directly proportional some of them will be inversely proportional then if you want very high accuracy again your cost of the machine is also going to increase if your machine cost increases cost of the product you are manufacturing that also is going to increase so the attribute scoring po giving points is not straight very straight it is having lot of effects if you are selecting one parameter other parameter is also going to be affected so if you give five points for the surface finish then your processing time is going to be affected so there also you cannot give five because the two things are inversely proportional so giving this ranks or points to the individual characteristic or feature is not a very simple activity it is a very complex and the bias of the person who is giving the points is going to come into picture the next one is variety of machine availability and material choice combinations now when you are giving the rank you are going to get two or more options which are having almost equal points the question will come which one to select then what is the justification for selecting so giving the justification and selecting a particular thing is very very difficult usually based on the hunch or simply by luck you are selecting some process if it works out it is good otherwise you will be having a lifelong trouble so that is a variety of machine availability and material choice combination that is going to create the problem next one is different users will require different things from a additive manufacturing machine 
so you are selecting a machine but some other user in the same industry or the company may be having different expectations from the machine so you are arriving at a three options you will say you are to select option a some other person will say i want to select the option number b then how do you arrive at a compromise or how do you arrive at a single solution that also will be a challenge for the selection process so this problem will come even in your sports selection or even in your selection of your phone your car or anywhere you want to select all these things are always going to be there so there will be some kind of compromises there will be review of the selection we have taken so that an optimal selection is made so that most number of people are happy so whatever process you are selecting you are able to produce a component in a optimal manner maybe it not be the best manner usually we say it is a optimal manner that is a how selection process is done and some of the challenges associated with the selection 